Hello, my name is Polina Smith, and for the past six years, I have had the extraordinary pleasure to know Cassandra Stepto. And this past Saturday, Cassandra was actually featured on the front page of the Saturday Chronicle. And so Cassandra, I'm just wondering if you would tell us a little bit about your story and where you've been and where you are now. Well, yes, I was very excited to be nominated for the Chronicle. Um, they did it, they talk, we talked about being in Medea. Um, I am HIV positive. I've been positive for 27 years. I got 13 years from drug and alcohol. And I am a grandmother of nine, which I take care of one granddaughter. So it was an uh, honor to share my story so other women like myself can feel inspired by, and it was very exciting. Yeah, it's yeah. such a beautiful photo and story. And Cassandra, will you tell us a little bit about the Medea Project and what it is? Medea is a form of therapy for me. Um, I joined about eight years ago, and what it does, it helps me uh, hold my, I um, mean, take a hold of my HIV uh, status a little bit more and express it. Um, there was a time where I wouldn't have shared my status being HIV positive, but being with Medea, it helps me write about my story, a secret that I never told. And it, what it does, it inspires other women that, that are dealing uh, heavily with secrets around their status. And I want to give them hope. So giving them hope, I share myself. I share my truth about who I am because HIV is a health condition. It is not a crime, and I want to get more women involved in it. Awesome. Thank you, Cassandra. So you briefly mentioned Cassandra, um, but so everybody knows Cassandra takes care of her six-year-old granddaughter. She lives with you, and she's such an extraordinary child and such a gift that you yes. that you take care of yes. her in that way. Yeah. So I met Cassandra six years ago through Medea, and two years ago we started working out together at Diacati. And Cassandra, I'm wondering if you could talk a bit about what that journey has been like for you. It has been a very, very good journey for me. As you can see, um, I had lost 20 pounds being here. Uh, when I arrived here two years ago, I was 171. Being 5'3 and 171, I was kind of wobbling down the street, <laughs> not feeling good about who I was as far as my health go. And I met Paulina. And Paulina asked me to come in, and I came in, and I struggled with the exercise in the first year, but I was very consistent. I had a plan that my small term goal was to lose five pounds. And during that year, I lost 15 pounds um, with the help of Paulina. And I give it all to you because without you being here to support me and let me know how wonderful I would feel doing this, I didn't know I was going to feel so inspired. And my journey has been an adorable journey because I'm feeling good about who I am. I'm embracing who Cassandra is around her weight, around her eating. And I do, when I walk up and down the street, people ask, oh, what are you doing? And I said, the gym, G-Y-M, the <laughs> gym, and which makes it very, very, very fun. So I look at you, Paulina, as being my inspiration of being here for me, because if I didn't have Paulina, I don't think I would be where I'm at today as far as my health go. And today I can say that I am very healthy. Uh, my blood pressure had went down. Uh, I used to have problems with my knees. I don't have that problem anymore. Like I uh, mentioned earlier that I have a six-year-old. I could play soccer. I could run around with her more and feel energetic and not tired. And I owe it all to the gym, being a part of the gym, Paulina, and you. And I just want to say thank you mm -hmm. for being there for me because I could not have done it without them. And if anybody that wants to be inspired or wants to come and join the gym, 
it's really important that you have a plan, you set out a short-term goal, and that you follow that goal. And it really takes consistent. You have to be consistent when you come to the gym because it will not show, you know, um, unless you come to the gym. That's awesome, Cassandra. It's so inspiring to hear. And you've mentioned being consistent and showing up every day and even when it's hard coming. If someone is just starting and they're feeling really intimidating about getting healthy and losing weight, what are some other pieces of advice that you would give them? I would, I would say that if it's very hard, because it was hard for me in the beginning, that I would take maybe two days out of the week instead of three days or four days out of the week, you know, to work my way up. Because when I started, I was not able to run. So it took about six months into before I was saying, hey, look at me, I can run now. And I was running on the treadmill. So I encourage that you just give yourself uh, a little room, a little break, and, and, and test yourself and push yourself a little bit more. Because yes, it's very hard in the beginning when it's when you start the gym. Consider <laughs> <laughs> one last thing. Uh -huh. um, I would love for you, because you look absolutely fantastic, uh, to tell people how old you are. I am 58 years old. I made 58 this year, and I am so proud. I'm so proud to be in a better health than I am. I went to the doctor, and I was 150, which is hooray for me, hooray. Yes, because I am 150. I never thought I would be 150 again at this age. And it's very, uh, it's very um, happy, it's happiness be because, you know, I could, I could shop, I don't have to feel embarrassed. I could, and let me tell you about my eating. I didn't stop eating what I ate. I ate smaller portion of what I ate, you know, because I never believed in a diet, but what I did is, is shorten my, my meal. And coming here, Paulina, helps me because you told me that it's very important to put some food in your body. Mm -hmm. And so I thought not eating will get, lose the weight, but it's not not eating. Mm -hmm. You have to eat a little bit to, to lose this weight. And that's what I was doing. I was eating very little and uh, start the, the pounds start coming off. And I owe it all to you. Oh, Cassandra, and, awesome. And thank you. So in short, I just want to say we have this amazing woman, 58 years old, raising her six-year-old granddaughter, HIV positive, 13 years clean and sober, who has lost 20 pounds. If you have ever wondered if it's possible, it's, Cassandra, it is, possible. It is so all possible. All I have to say <laughs> is just take it slow. Mm -hmm. Small-term goals first. Don't try anything big. Go for five pounds, two pounds, whatever it takes. Just come to the gym. We need to come to the gym first before we can even start this. Okay? All right. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thank you.